His name is on the That's planet, bro. His name's on the planet. <laughs> like, his name is that on is the sick. planet. Howdy, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sidemen Reacts. Today, you've got a quad. 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 Myself, Zerka, Harry, Minta. And we're reacting to the weirdest things on Google Earth. Ooh. Come on. Did ever, do you ever used to do that at school, though? Like, zoom down the roads on, like, Constant. human street view? Yeah, bro. I love Google Earth. All right, let's do, do it. Uh, flight simulator. You want to play that Ooh. one on Google Earth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Trying to play actual platform these days is sick. It's not yeah. sick. Hey. It's not All right, DJ, spin that shit. From hidden messages oh. to possible murder locations, here one. are 13 bizarre things found on Google Earth. Oh, that's that Ooh. president that got his name carved into the land. Ooh. That's Ooh. what I should ask president. <laughs> Number 13, oh, billionaire. Gobi oh, Desert. Okay. Google Earth has revealed a multitude of images of strange Ooh. titanic structures and patterns carved <gasps> into the Earth. Why is China building these structures in the middle of Whoa. nowhere? Perhaps the most visibly strange section of the desert is an elaborate grid of perfectly straight lines that what? weave back and forth among themselves every few hundred feet. This particular design is 20 miles long. There are many hmm. others in circular shape. What are people doing? He's doing the dance. You think, no, I think they're setting something up. Donnie's going to flick okay. a light switch and Mongolia is gone. Can I, can I, have, <laughs> can, can I have a confession? All right. I'm, I've a confession. Managed, yeah, I've managed to find myself on uh, the pyramid conspiracy theory TikTok algorithm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And and I've seen now I've seen about sixteen of these now. And um and I <laughs> believe there was some juju going on, bro. I'm telling you now, I'm 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 fully bought in. The pyramids aren't just tombs. What, 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 They're lined what? up with the stars. Bro, no, it's not even that, bro. Like the inside, bro, is all made. They got like, a copper like, wiring in yeah, there. Like, yeah, wiring. yeah, yeah. Bro, bro, are you on it as well? Are you on the algorithm? <laughs> no. Oh, well, so you, just, oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Gases their purpose. They can include, but are not limited to, secret military bases, although not so secret with Google, weapons testing, Ooh. spy satellite calibration, and radar instrumentation tests, as well as sensors to control the weather. Is anyone else getting kind of nervous about this? Humans are doing judge. Number 12. Control it's the weather, fire. you know. In 2011, an extreme this one. project began on a this small is, this island is near Abu Dhabi. Yeah, this is the Sheikh Hamad bin Hamdan Al Nayyan, a billionaire. billionaire and member of Abu Dhabi's ruling family, had his name carved <laughs> deep into the city. <laughs> See, I respect this. That's I respect this. I respect I've, done, I've done that at South End, but not this on this <laughs> end. Can we have Why? Like a, a Simon logo carved into the floor somewhere? Correct. Should we ask Hamad? Hamad, why can SDMN up there, please? Of Al Sea Island. He also owns the island located in the Persian Gulf, so of course he can do whatever he wants with it. <laughs> the letters are an astonishing half mile tall and together Jesus Christ. two miles from H to D. Do you know how much of a flex that is, so bro? Big, Jeez. Would that not annoy you, though, if you have all that money and you can't even, like, you see how it stops being filled in on the end? They'll be a fill it in eventually, surely. Do you know how much of a flex that is? Imagine, okay, I'm not, I don't imagine he goes to bars and speaks to women. But say he does, and he goes, yo, go on Google Earth and type in these Island, coordinates. Yeah. Bro, his name is on the That's planet, bro. His name's on the planet. Like, his name is that on is the sick. planet. That's it. Imagine they spell it wrong. From outer space. Oh, this is no one knows why he embarked on the bizarre project in the first place. The marine dredging company hired to do the work was told not to ask questions. I think man, not ask questions. In 2013, the letters vanished, hastily <gasps> filled in with sand. Rumors oh. are that the vast canal project spelling out someone's name did not fit in with the image Abu Dhabi wants to portray to the world. Oh, Number 11, his name? Ghost Island. In 2013, researchers went looking for Sandy Island in the Coral Sea east of Australia. Oh, this Scientific exist, right? databases showed the island to be about the size of Manhattan. Discovered Ooh. in 1876 by a whaling ship, Sandy Island has been included on maps for more than a century, including, obviously, on Google Earth. When the Australian scientists arrived at the location, the only thing they found was Ooh. open ocean. There was no, no other no. island that could have possibly been Sandy. What? in sight it just wasn't there Global so what warming, happened lads. to it did it sink beneath the waves was it just a figment of our imagination it's possible that what the whaling ship had seen was a pumice raft a floating raft of frothy light rock produced by volcanoes oh. that can float around for years before breaking up the island had gained so much right. fame it actually had hey, an well, obituary published for it in april 2013. Yeah. in it the researchers explained how the phantom island could have remained in geographical mind and maps due to human error this right. undiscovery mm. made head Lines around the, the world one. and reminds us that despite yeah, I don't like it. That was shit. What? What do you mean? That was sick. There was oh, an that island sick. that they thought were there for ages, and it was there. Nice, bit sneaky in it, Harry. What? 
That's my favourite one. <laughs> Harry, I'm, I'm upset with you. Bro. What? That was, that what was there was a bloody island that they thought nah. for hundreds of years was an island, and they've gone to look for this it island. Just and some the sand, there. mate. It was just oh, sand, you got, bro. And floating sand. Google and national. I mean, headlines around Quickly the world, boys. I've got the island a bit on my screen, maps. so I'm having to clean it. Then. Number ten, giant what? advertising. <laughs> it looks like people have discovered the marketing advantages of Google Earth. Ooh. In Nevada, off the Lahamad. extraterrestrial highway, yeah. lays an 87,500 square foot likeness what? of KFC. Oh, oh. Up, <laughs> up at the sky. Oh my In God. full color, it's surprising his face isn't blurred out like his other likeness around the world. That is quite you cool. Can learn more on my other That's video. Eleven Hamad. things Google Earth yeah. is hiding from you and on a hillside in chile you can oh. see the world's Ooh. largest coca-cola logo constructed of seven oh that's it empty coke bottles. i want to see what it looks like this map advertising is from a the great floor. idea for They're from the floor recycling. like it's coke bottles number nine Super shipwreck. No, that isn't a glitch in Google's oh, programming oh, or sick. hardware, and that's not that's Photoshop. Sick, that's sick. In 2003, the SS Hasim, a Bolivian cargo ferry, ran aground and sunk on the Wingate Reef off the coast oh. of Sudan. The ship is 265 feet long and is one of the largest shipwrecks that is now visible on Google Earth. I'm Googling this now. has estimated that there are over 3 million shipwrecks lying on ocean floors around the world. You see how that's visible on Google Earth? The human mm. that did that has had a howler, bro. Like, you're forever remembered, bro. You crashed that <laughs> crash ship. Into an you, 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 the captain has led this ship onto Google Earth, bro. Like, you're literally <laughs> hanging, you're hanging out of an island. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Oh, oh it's gone. Oh. Oh. Lie near the surface of the water or only partially submerged can be seen with satellite imagery of the Earth. Number eight. Pigeon people. What? This is what? I've seen this on GeoGuessr. Google Street View, and it is definitely creepy. The group of pigeon masks. I'm not gonna lie, this is a lot less cool than I wanted it to be. Yeah, it's getting what's what. They follow you down. They, they look at you the whole down the road. You know, I wanted this yeah. to be pigeon people. I thought this was gonna be something amazing. They continue to stare at the Google car as it passed them. Looks like some people missed the memo. Number seven. Pentagram. Ooh. One thing's for sure, this Ooh. is no oh. problem or accident. This pentagram was yeah. placed there on purpose. Located in Kazakhstan, oh. this is sure oh, to lead boy. any suspicious mind Kazakhstan to the devil's man. door. <laughs> the five-pointed star surrounded by a circle measures 1,200 feet in diameter. But wait, hey, there's a star next to it. Hey, look, 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 look to the left. Look, far left. There's another one. That's it. Wait, that's that's, that's it, it. Bro. Zoomed in. Oh, my God. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's oh, fine. Just press, pause, just press play and we, we do, nothing happened. Diameter. Oh my god. The pentagram shows up crystal clear. It's red circle as well, guys. My head's in my hands, I'm in bed. Many were quick to look at it. The pentagram is actually a piece of symbol used by many cultures and is not always satanic. It's got a tiny little chod on him. It's simply a park. Archaeologist Emma Osmanova has worked in the region for so years embarrassed. and explained <laughs> that the pathways were purposely red. designed to create the shape of a star. It's okay, it's okay. The star is marked by roads lined with trees, making the shape stand out. The star was a popular symbol during the Soviet Union, and many guessed that the site may have been. Can we go to number six, please. <laughs> <laughs> number six. There you go. Yeah, Desert spiral. Google Maps has frozen this oh, double spiral in time. When people first saw the formation located in the Egyptian desert near the coast of the oh, Red the Sea, Egyptians again. all kinds again. of theories Tricky arose. Egyptians. Crop circle, <laughs> alien message, even a portal to an alternate universe. Oh. It's too large and perfectly designed to have been created by any one person. It's a Fibonacci well, actually, sequence or something. It was created no, by no. three <laughs> women. Known as the Desert Breath, it is a super-sized art sequence. installation <laughs> created by Dad's art number. team, a trio of Greek know, artists in March of 2007. <laughs> the piece covers an area of about well, 10 like hectares. The two numbers According before, to the artist, it's <laughs> meant to celebrate the desert as a state of mind and a landscape for the mind. The spiral nice. is made up of cones from the sand and is subject to natural erosion. Mm. Over time, it will disappear and become part of the desert plain once more. That's cool. Number five, yeah, it was a bit of a Syrian poles. Images of the current civil war in Syria oh. is by no right. means new to the internet. While the destruction on a human level has been caught by photographers and news coverage, satellites have also recorded the damage to hundreds of archaeological oh sites. All six of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the country... Oh, I have beef with Damascus, you know? Yeah, Damascus FC, bro! I have beef with Damascus! Bro, we lost money on Damascus. Damascus yeah. FC, I bet money on Damascus oh, FC, bro. Else we, and we had to load the game up on, uh, <laughs> on, on, on like a Facebook Live, it had 13 viewers. 
That's it. <laughs> Damascus, Damascus got packed in. I lost like 20 quid. I was fuming. <laughs> <laughs> Damascus all stars. ...have been damaged or destroyed. You can see the destruction for yourself if you look up Apamia via Google Earth. The location of the ancient Roman city is now a sea of pockmarked holes stretching over the entire Fucking area hell. left Wait, by looters there. since the start of the Bombs war. Being That's Both looters sad, and treasure man. hunters have dug over 4,000 holes looking for uncovered oh, treasures no, to sell no, 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 on the black for, market to stuff. finance the war. Okay. These holes are about oh, so two back. to three Wait, meters They're digging for shit to finance and war. And in some cases, Bruh. are even used to store weapons. The fuck? Number four, okay. Scientology Bunker. Located in a remote area of New Mexico, Ago, this image of a mysterious well, these pair of these two large diamonds are weird, surrounded by should, overlapping yeah. circles are etched out. onto the desert floor. It so is believed you out. to be a navigation <laughs> you marker out. for spacecraft. What, what do you mean? The church you say boot you out, I'll creep you out. Book, they book me. Book it. Oh. <laughs> Booky Donny. <laughs> you said they boot yeah. you out as if you're like part of it. Well, they probably would boot me out as well, but I, I don't know, like... No, I don't know. There's something, something about. Them. I don't know. What if they're just like massive trolls and they just do this shit? And take everyone. So much, where do they get all this money from? Them. Do all this stuff, though, bro. They're so rich. And in New Mexico is shrouded in mystery. There is a building which leads to an underground vault and miles of tunnels Ooh, under the mountain. Right. The symbols on the desert floor are supposed Yo, if you to look help on the right, guide there, there scientologists well. to a safe <laughs> after returning to Earth from a planetary Armageddon. Sorry, the symbol is believed to be trademarked. Not on a Monday. Sorry, it's a I took it. Number three, so it's Monday. Japanese ghost town. <laughs> Hashima, Japan, was a town. Someone said you hide and seek here. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah, this. Yeah. 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 Does that not look like the pod map? I was about to say, can we go and play paintball there? Stopped, and all the inhabitants moved <laughs> Call of Duty real life. The I hit hide and seek quite nice there. Yeah, no, it's not like yeah. radioactivity or something. Yeah, is this right? not? Was this not in that other video we did? Yeah. Dangerous yeah. islands. Unsafe. Yeah. You can still see it via Google Earth, and it was actually the location of Javier Bardem's lair in the James oh. Bond film Skyfall. Wait, they filmed so, there. We can. Movie, yeah, we're yeah. pretty much James Bond. Same thing. Yeah. Oh, we, I mean, it's Bro a show. Sure, James Bond. Do you know what? Let's do it. So I've been Japan trip. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. You can spend all the time you want there. Though based on these images, I don't know Ooh. if I would want to. Ooh. No, Number two, murder doc. Ooh. This image caused I've quite seen this a one stir at school. when it was discovered on the internet. Yeah. Nothing like a nice sunny day on the lake with a little bit of murder. It looks like someone tried to get rid of an unwanted murder. body off this dock <laughs> in the Netherlands. And now for number one, <laughs> but first, Why is that over so quickly? <laughs> share some other bizarre things well, you no. found on Google Earth in the comments. Number one, okay, yeah, airplane yeah. graveyard. This might be one of the this biggest and coolest yeah. graveyards you'll ever see. Located in Tucson, Arizona, the Davis Monthan Air Force Base is where U.S. military planes often find their final resting place. The cemetery stretches 2,600 acres and has been nicknamed Mad. the Bone Yard. Bro, it reminds me of the COD mission. You know that last the, the, the COD mission, Modern Warfare 2? Is it Modern Warfare 2? The graveyard Wait. reminds me of uh, the crew. You can you drive oh. through it on there? Uh, well, I, was, I, was, I was too young to play Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, you're not a really? veteran like I thought you was, you thrilled. Uh, my my first COD was Modern Warfare 3. Oh my god, you're actually Uncultured so weird. Human. You're actually so weird, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Modern day technology holds nothing sacred, not even the dead, and images of it are available for all to see on Google Earth and other interactive maps. Cool. And it is something to see indeed. It is home to everything Mental. from enormous cargo planes to bombers, Hercules freighters, so it, A-10 Thunderbolts, and the F-14 Tomcat fighters made famous from growing. Top Gun. What can you do with Storage it? yards serve you several purposes. Yeah. To store I like how it all parked really nicely and organized. Out of service, yeah, may it's quite satisfying. The fleet, like, how are they dead if they've been parked? aircraft carcasses. Many of the planes <laughs> at the boat <laughs> are you know, I'm having a howl today. I'm going to <laughs> Including B-52 bombers capable of carrying nuclear weapons. Oh. The B-52s were stored with their wings removed. Uh, and I don't really care anymore, lady. Can we just keep them moving? Satellites. It was the last one, lad. You can't go to zero. The first retired B-52 so was they revived brought back it. to life in the boneyard in February 2015, taking off after upgrades to return to duty. Jeez. That's cool. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. How are they parked if they're dead? I've just successfully clowned my own week. <laughs> my, my Monday's off the half. My week's off the half. Uh, oh, thanks for watching. Sideman reacts. Please leave a like. <laughs> Bye.